the OKC Thunder right now at a 10 and 4 record with Shea, with Chet Holmgren, with Josh Giddy, with J Dub, with Isaiah Joe, Case and Wallace. The OKC Thunder is looking really good at the right time. So, man, and how are they shocking the NBA? Well, let's go ahead and watch this video. Chet! Chet Holmgren! Damn! That right there was Chet Holmgren hitting an unthinkable turnaround three-point shot with Wiggins. just over a second left in the game, which was just part of his 36.10 rebounds, five Woo! and four-stop game wow. versus the Golden State Warriors, in which he and Shea Gildas Alexander proved they aren't just a promising young duo, they are legitimately one of the best duos in the NBA. I can't wait. The They're really good. Shea and Chet combo. I love it. And when you have two guys like this, it's no coincidence that the Thunder are currently 10 and 4 and have gone from a promising young team to a legit force in the Western Conference. I mean, Ooh. how are you supposed to guard this? On the Thunder's first play of the game, Chet gives the hand off to Shea. Shea drives, gets two feet in the paint, so Chet pops out for the three and knocks it down. Mm. Three seconds later, this time Shea gets the ball on the wing. With Aiden not wanting to fully commit off Chet, he half-heartedly swipes at the ball Damn. and once Shea gets past that, it's a free lane to the rim. Those are two very straightforward examples, but this is what OKC do. They force defenses into rotation with unselfish ball movement, and mm -hmm. once the defense is forced to rotate, that's when you see the talent. Because Good the moment you are late to close out on any number of OKC's players, they will take you off the dribble. Just ask J Dub. J double team. So far, the numbers back up what we can all see is happening. Because 14 games into the season, and OKC boast a top 7 offense and defense to go along with the third best net rating mm. in the NBA. Shocking. All of this as the youngest team in the NBA, and it's not even close. And you can not point to close. a lot of reasons why the Thunder have taken this leap, but the biggest reason, figuratively and literally, is Chet Holmgren. Yes. I mean, what he did against Kavon Looney and the Golden State Warriors was just straight up unfair. Look here as he has Looney on an island at the three-point line and just gets to work, getting two feet in the paint before hitting absolutely nothing but net on the fatal. Damn. And it's this fluidity and skill which makes him so hard to guard because you're telling me guys like Nikola Vucevic have to be <laughs> Just look at Chet pump God bless. three, spin inside and back the Ugh. other way before hitting <laughs> the fadeaway. Oh, He's not God. just someone that can cook in the mid-range or against slower bigs. Even against athletic bigs, he can still go to work. Watch this play. Holmgren gives the ball up to man. He sets the screen before popping for three and knocking it down. Mm. Now, I showed you that play because the very next possession, he gets the ball at the three-point line. And with Aiden worried about his three-point threat, he overcommits, so Chet drives, spins mm. left, and then finishes underneath Aiden. He might be skinny, but his fluidity and skill at it's that fluid. size is special and just to put into perspective how special it is right here are his shooting numbers from all spots on the floor in comparison oh wow to not bad idol and one of the greatest scorers in wow. NBA history kevin durant yes he's doing this on way less volume but he's also doing it as a rookie and these are numbers we just flat out have not seen from a rookie and the crazy thing is he told us this exact thing was going to happen I feel like my ability to create my own shot uh and you know score on my own uh will definitely be on display for sure i, I think, think i could be a 50 40 90 player oh, okay. Okay. that's what there we go and you know the guy he's playing with so his three point shooting might stop him from being a 50 40 90 guy but how does 53 percent from the field 36 percent from three and 92 percent from the line sound whilst mm. putting up 30 Six and six. Wow. And if you want any idea as to just how good Shea Gilgis Alexander is, is, look no further than what he did in the second half and overtime versus the Golden State Warriors. He's so good. Because it was one of the most ridiculous displays of hard play I've seen in a long, he dropped long fucking time. 40. After a slow first half, Shea went 14 of 19 from the field in the second half and OT. So oh, he didn't go 40? 32 points. Oh, 32 and that points, doesn't man. sound ridiculous at all. went 40. The difficulty of these shots i don't even have words Damn. with 230 left in ot and scores level Che gets the switch onto cp3 he crosses right gets to his spot with a step back and it's butter 40 mm. seconds later 
and this time he has Looney isolated. Sizes him up before going behind the back, and look at the shot. Look at the arc he puts on that ball <laughs> to counter the extra length of Looney. And if you want to see arc, well this shot was even better. With one point separating the two teams, and the Thunder scrambling to get a shot off, they give the ball to SGA. He drives hard left off the catch, and manages to stop on a dime, rising above the elite athleticism of Andrew Wiggins, dropping it in. Unbelievable defense, but no answer for Shea. And just in case you thought he couldn't do any more. Oh, what a block! Oh, got a block on Stephen Curry, and it's gonna be a run out. Shea, one man to beat. That sequence right there is just the encapsulation of what makes Shea a superstar. On one end, he hits a fading jump shot over an elite I'm defender. The Ten seconds later, he's blocking the greatest shooter of all time and running it out in transition to seal the game. And this right here is what makes this OKC Thunder team That's special. So dangerous. They've got talent. I mean, on any other team, I would have spent the first five minutes talking about Jalen Williams, who is casually averaging 18 points on great efficiency. Jalen like Williams. It's nothing. But in addition to this talent, they can all defend. Just look at their two rookies. We know what Chet can do, but allow me to introduce you to Kaysan Wallace. In addition to his ludicrous Kaysan shooting splits, is good. he's been an absolute monster on the defensive Kaysan, end of the floor. Good. Just watch this play. With Jackson bringing the ball up the floor, Wallace is pressing. He navigates the Jokic screen, going body to body with Jackson, absorbing the contact before tying him up for a jump ball. Or how about versatility, where he starts by guarding Devontae Graham. He decides to switch onto Victor Wayne Van Young, mm. affronting him, and with Chet helping on the back line, McDermott doesn't know what to do, so Wallace pounces, intercepting the pass, and casually throwing the lob. And this is OKC across the board, because you can't mention Case on Wallace without mentioning what Shea does on Deets, or what Lou Dort or Jalen Williams do. I mean, when your best player and out-and-out -out top 10 player is getting low and guarding every single Play possession, defense. these young guys don't have a choice but to follow suit. Then just to cap it off, by chance one of these guys gets blown by, well, you have one of the best shot blocking prospects in recent Woo! Just look at this play where DeJounte completely beats Dub on the back cut and pause here. With DeJounte running in a straight line with all the momentum and Chet having to change direction, surely it's a clear lay. No, because Chet is able to use his inspector gadget like arms <laughs> to swipe it out of nowhere. And it's just running that is impeccable. His ability to switch onto guards and move his feet well Come on, CJ. or blocking CJ shots. Too. Or against bigger players in the paint, he might not have the strength, but he's capable of taking Get up. contact and then reaching these guys at the apex. Damn. I know the Thunder have so much talent, but what Chet Holmgren and SGA are doing right now, I mean, you can't help but think of another duo that graced this team a decade ago. The Red and West you could add Gordon. the other parallel with J-Dub. Now, if you did make it all the way to the end of the video, a like would be greatly appreciated. You might as well subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. It Yo, okay, sees the truth though. They are the truth. They, man, they play both offense and defense. They one of the top five, uh, top ten teams in offensive rating and defensive rating, and then top ten in net rating. I mean, they they are dangerous. Um, I we've been talking about it that they're probably gonna be like a top four, top six team in the West. The West is so loaded, but they're peaking at the right time. Shade. Probably going to end up going to another All-NBA season. Chet Holmgren is going to be battling Victor Wembanyama for Rookie of the Year. J-Dub's doing his thing. Josh Giddy, he's doing his thing. Um, Kaysan Wallace, he's doing his thing. This OKC team is different. They are really different. Shout out to the head coach. The head coach knows he can coach. He can really coach. I can't really pronounce his name, unfortunately, but he can really coach. And he was in the top three last year for Coach of the Year. So if he is a winner Coach of the Year, I wouldn't be surprised because this OKC team is really good, really good. So um, I'm glad they're given, uh, they get a lot of love in the NBA because that is a fun young team, fun young team. Sham Press is doing a hell of a job being able to get like draft picks and stuff and then picking the right players. Um, so... And then, you know, Chet Holmgren being able to be finally healthy. This OKC team different. They are really different. So comment down below and tell me how great of this OKC Thunder team is and what you what the ceiling is going to be this season for them. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. And I'm JP. We'll see you in the next video.